cozy. Yeah, it actually, it's not too bad. I'm drenched. So we're putting our rain covers on. It's obviously just trickling down. We stopped at the jackal den. Almost ready. Next minute, our blue top blows just about off the car. Then we're trying to fight it in the wind. And the next minute, I hear David going, it's coming. <laughs> Most dramatic thing I've ever heard. All, well, I've heard all day. And I kid you not, it the rain buckets it down on us. It was crazy. It's went from a drizzle to almost raindrops the size of hailstones. It was so big. There we were fighting, trying to hold the top down. Anyways, we're in. Everything is dry. Everything is safe. Maurice is dry. Tried to make Maurice an umbrella. <laughs> it's not very good umbrella though. I don't know how waterproof it would be, seeing as though it's made out of paper. Maurice, does that keep you dry? That's a hopeless umbrella. That is so embarrassing. If my mom gave me an umbrella like this, I'd be very embarrassed. I apologize. But have a little listen to the thunder. And keep an eye out on, our, on the windscreen because you'll see flashes of lightning. It's actually getting quite close now. She said, even though I told you that I'm petrified of lightning. Um, hopefully it moves over quite quickly, but I'm, I'm just, every now and then I'm just checking because the rain is obviously coming from the east this way. It doesn't look like it's going to get better. Hey, Killa, you're wondering how do animals cope with thunderstorms? Well, I suppose they're quite used to it, especially out here. A thunderstorm with torrential rain is um, nothing nothing really unusual for them so I don't think they're bothered by it too much uh, in South Africa what we would see is because there's are, there are a lot of trees especially in the Sabi sand and the low felt region they'll hide underneath trees put their stand up against shrubs you know obviously in the opposite direction that the wind is blowing and, and seek shelter I can't see anything out in the open anymore so I don't know if the animals were able to very quickly get to shelter we saw that buffalo sitting down obviously bracing for the storm remember the animals can uh, definitely sense wet weather better than well we can we knew it was coming i didn't think it was going to come through that quickly i think we had a couple more minutes uh, but wow i'm just gonna watch don't take off every now and then the wind changes direction and then a little gust gets into a crevice and this whole the whole tarp and the whole everything is just going to blow off so we'll just hold it it was so funny as i was trying to turn the back of the vehicle to the rain this all blew in and i just got swamped with water now, George, you're wondering if it rains here a lot in winter? Uh, no, not necessarily. We, uh, at this time of the year, you can expect the odd um, thunderstorm to come through. However, it isn't the rainy season just yet. So, as we come into, what are we, in September now? So, October, you typically get the first early rains. Uh, I've never been up here before, so I don't know if this is unusual. I can't imagine that it is because all the pictures that I have seen of Kenya throughout the year, normally it's quite lush like this, and it will only stay lush if you get the odd thunderstorm coming through so we get there should be quite big rains in November um, I'm not sure how many mils of rain they were to expect but in in April and May which is the the peak of the rainy season uh, my goodness I, again I don't know about Kenya I can talk about Zambia though and it's very similar I mean our lodge closed and many of the other lodges in the Lozambezi National Park closed from the end of November beginning of December right through to the end of April because it becomes like a complete swamp. You cannot drive anywhere, you just sink down into the ground. The roads are completely obliterated and every season they just about have to come through and, and make new roads again. I remember doing that. We went out for a week and we spent nine hours every single day grading and um, sort of uh, redoing all the roads. So it's definitely a lot of hard work. 